How's it going my friends? Back with another video for you guys today. Merry Christmas, it's right around the corner. Hope all you guys, whatever holidays you guys are celebrating, I hope you guys are getting excited. Sarah and I are hosting for the first time this year, so she's upstairs right now just absolutely going crazy getting the whole place clean. But um, I just want to say thank you for the outpouring of support. Shout out the new uh, Patreon subscribers. We have Devin Turner, Shane Henry, Roy, Roy Virgis, Verge. Sorry if I butchered that. Charles Berg, Shot Without Warning, Maxim Muir, Richard, Richard Allen Easton, Alan Chan. Thank you guys so much. Um, the Discord is starting to be a lot of fun. If you guys are interested in coming in and, and getting in the feed in the chat room with a bunch of different photographers, it's great. We have a bunch of people in there just talking photography and all different tips, you know, and just joking around in general. And it's good to be able to connect with everybody. So we're having a lot of fun in there. Today, I just wanted to talk about focusing technique, okay? I had an email from one of my longtime subscribers, Jonathan Miles, okay? He had sent me a message and said, hey, I am having problems with the autofocus. I shoot an AFC. I've been shooting in a lot of dimly lit uh, Christmas parties and, um, you know, dimly lit venues and things like that. And he's like, my hit rate absolutely sucks. He's like, I tried um, adding your your autofocus settings in and uh, just wondering how I can improve on it. And this goes into technique guys. Like I said before, when you know we talked about uh, me learning, me having you guys learn the cameras like the back of your hands, these cameras are not gonna be ones you just turn on, bang, they're as good as Sony and AFC. AFC and Sony is way ahead of uh, Nikon right now. But these cameras are great as long as you know how to use them. So I'm gonna talk about technique and focusing in low light mainly. He had, I gave him my suggestions and the way that I shoot, and he sent me an email back this morning that said, I uh, know you're a busy guy, just wanted to let you know that your advice was priceless with the focusing on the dance floor and in low light group shots, much, much better using that technique and 100% success rate now. So I'm not saying that these cameras are the best with autofocus, they are definitely not but you can get extraordinarily good results with them, especially in low light, if you know how to work them. And you have to kind of just, you know, use this stuff and by trial and error, you become better at it. So I'm happy to be a resource to let you guys know my techniques and how I work it. So this is the lens that I use on the dance floor. When the music starts getting played and people go out there, they turn the lights down in the venues like they always do in um, weddings. I put on the 14 to 30, um, F4 S lens and I hit the dance floor. I have a lens or a, uh, a speed light, a Godox speed light on the on the top, and I fire it. I drag the shutter. I have some backlight. Sometimes I'll add. Just depends on the venue, but I have a very high success rate on the dance floor. What you guys need to do is get out of every other mode except dynamic area AF. Okay, that is the best focusing mode in low light. Personally, I use dynamic area or face tracking 99% of the time. Well, I'd say probably 95% of the time. The other 5% is single point if I just need to really dial in on something very, you know, close or small. But 95% of the time, I'm either in dynamic or face tracking. Dynamic always in low light. It's the best mode. The camera works the best in that when it's hunting and it's trying to find what to focus on. AFC works better than AFS. So let's stay in AFC, guys. Hopefully you guys are set up with back button focus. I understand if somebody, you know, you guys like to half press the uh, shutter. That's okay too, but I like to have it in back button so I can work this method. So basically what you're going to do is when you're in low light, you're in dynamic area autofocus, right? What you're going to do is I like to bump up the, the target just a little bit. I keep it right in the middle. I bump it up a little bit so it's not right in the middle. So it's kind of where someone's face is going to be, where I'm going to place them in the frame. And I don't move the target. It's just like a maybe one or two little clicks up right from the middle. And then you need to keep re-engaging your focus, okay? AFC in the dark on the Z6, and this is only what I found out through trial and error, works the best if you keep re-engaging the focus to grab onto somebody that you're trying to track. You cannot just press it, you're in AFC and it's low light, you cannot just press the back button or the half shutter and expect it to track perfectly. It's just not, it's not good enough to do that. But it, your hit rate goes up way higher if you are in dynamic area and you keep re-engaging on the target. Do not just try and hold it down on somewhere that you want to track and have it grab it. You just do not. Guys, do not use wide area AF or any other focus point. It's all trash. 
in the dark. It is. Um, at least from my experience. Maybe you guys have had, if you guys have had better experience with it, just you know, drop it in the comments. But from my 300,000 plus photos this year, the thing that works the best and most reliable is AFC, dynamic area autofocus, and keep re-engaging your target. Keep pressing on it, almost like you're treating AFC kind of like AFS. It's not AFS, it's AFC, but you're almost keeping re-engaging the target. And that's really the key. I mean, the focus mode is, but that's really the key too, is learning how to work it in the dark. And um, you know, you're gonna get a much higher, higher success rate with your photos in the dark. I'm telling you guys, it's a camera that can perform, but you just need to learn it. So this is just a quick tip, um, focusing workflow. I know a lot of you guys have been answering these questions or asking these. And I know a lot of you guys are kind of new to the system too, so I want to give you know a good, wide like body of knowledge of how I do things and how I found the best results so far. So hopefully this helped. If this was helpful, drop in the comments, let me know. And Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you guys have a great holiday. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Until the next video, my friends.